Hello guys, I'm super excited today because I'm going to review the new Polar Pro Cinema filters for the Mavic 2 Pro. So stick around, hit the like button if you like this video at the end, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this one. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. In this channel we do a lot of tech and camera review, drone tutorials and family adventure. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified whenever we post new videos. So here in my hands I have the newly and just released Shutter Collection Cinema Series from Prolar Pro. I just received these new ND filters on the mail today and I'm super excited to test them out. Polar Pro, as you guys may know, is a brand name in making ND filters for different camera systems, including GoPros, DJI drones, and even mirrorless camera. So when they announced that they were making ND filters for the Mavic 2 Pro, I immediately pre-ordered it. Polar Pro has different ND filters for the Mavic 2 Pro. The exact ones that I bought are the Shutter Cinema Collection with a price tag of $80. These ND filters are precisely designed for the Mavic 2 Pro, which as you guys know, has a 1-inch camera sensor and will not fit any other DJI drone. Just as a quick summary of what ND filters are, ND filters are neutral density filters, are camera accessories that help reduce the intensity of light that enters a camera sensor allows the photographer to control the exposure of the camera very easily. Without them, you will probably need to constantly change your ISO, shutter speed, or aperture to get a constant exposure value for video and photos. The shutter collection for Prolo Pro brings an ND filter number 4, ND filter number 8, and ND filter 16, which allows you to reduce your shutter speed with no change in color profile. These ND filters are installed pretty easily. To remove the original DJI UV filter, you just have to rotate it counterclockwise like this, and you're ready to go. Now you can install in a similar fashion, but clockwise, the Polar Pro ND filters. So in this video, I will show you a quick footage comparison of the Polar Pro ND filter number 4 and footage without it. The reason I use ND filter number 4 is because it was a cloudy day and it wasn't that bright outside. I will be recording this video in 4K 24 frames per second with an ISO of 100 and shutter speed 1 50th of a second, following the 180 degree rule that tells you to use shutter speed double of your frame rate. So for example, if you're filming video at 24 frames per second, you should use a shutter speed of a 140th of a second in order to get a cinematic motion blur that your brain will see as a fluid motion. In the first example, I will record the video using the parameters I just mentioned before and will not be using any ND filters, so you can see the difference on how the footage looks. And in the second example, I will use the same video parameters but using the ND filter number 4. So let's take a look. As you guys can see, ND filters are a necessity if you want to shoot cinematic video with a natural motion blur that your brain and the one of your viewers will understand as a fluid natural motion. Even though they are a little bit pricey, there is no other way to go around it if you want your video to look with a more professional look. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos from us. Thanks for watching.